this is Laura from Natural Pilates. Today's move of the day is twist. So I'm going to perform the twist in different positions and I'm going to explain the difference. Um, the more beginner version would be sitting up tall. So um, sitting up tall on top of the sit bones, lengthening the spine up. The spring choice would be a blue or a white for a little bit lighter springs for somebody that doesn't have so much Pilates experience. And the blue and a white and anything more than that for advanced. So I'm going to do a blue and a white today. That's, I'm going to grab the straps in my hands, both arms in front of me. So what I'm really looking for is as I'm twisting my body, I'm looking not to pull from the arm because that would be the compensatory pattern that can happen. So then I'm not really working my abs so much as much as I'm working my arms. Okay, so I'm going to keep the same shape of my arms in a relationship with the torso. So inhale, stay, lengthen the spine. Exhale, I'm squeezing my abs and I'm trying to rotate my ribs over the pelvis. And what I'm feeling is I'm feeling like I'm sliding a little bit. So if you feel like you're sliding a little bit, you can add the sticky pad underneath the hips that will eliminate some of the friction. So lengthen the spine, inhale. Exhale, squeeze those abdominal twists as far as you can, squeezing those obliques, and resist back. Inhale, exhale, all the air out, compress those abdominals, squeezing like a surround wrap around that way, lengthening the spine, and resist back. Inhale, exhale, squeeze as far, rotate as far as you can, till you feel like you're almost at that end range. Hold the squeeze for a little bit before you resist it back. Again, inhale to prepare, exhale to twist. I'm still going to feel my back here on this side, but honestly, I really want to feel like I'm pulling from my abdominals. So inhale to resist, exhale, twist. That's it, focusing on spiraling the spine up towards the ceiling as I'm twisting my spine. With the last one, I'm gonna stop in the middle. So I wanna do like 10 to 15, 20 reps, depends on the client's ability, really. Inhale to resist back an inch and past the midline an inch. So resist in towards uh, uh, the midline and out to, uh, on the lateral part of the midline. That's it. So little pulses, small little contractions, feeling the burn into those abdominals, feeling like you're winging that waist. So you're making that weight super small. That's it, let's last five here, four, three, lengthening the spine constantly, sit bones are pushing down into the mat, two, last one, one. Also this shoulder pad is helping me to prevent my spine, my hips from rotating to the side. Another variation which is more intermediate but actually works because we're integrating more joints now, we're going to work the uh, abdominals a little bit less. And also because I'm gonna come up kneeling, the resistance is going to become too heavy a blue and a white. So I'm gonna go down to a blue. Okay, reach the arms forward in front of you, inhale. Exhale, pull and rotate. So now I have to focus not only on the rotation of the spine, but also on the stability of the hips. That's it, so I'm really squeezing my glutes and hamstrings in order to maintain those hips super still, and I'm still feeling some of the obliques there trying not to pull from the arms. It's just a lot going on, a lot of moving parts here, but the bottom line, what we need to focus on is what's really moving and what's really stabilizing. That's going to be the end result of our cueing and being very specific with our clients. That's it, we're gonna do a couple more, just three more here. Two, last one, hold it here. As I hold this isometric hold, I really feel this resistance pulling me in rotation this way. So all my trunk rotators to the right are working to stabilize. I'm going to add the variation of hip flexion, hip extension, maintaining those obliques. I'm feeling a little bit more my left side of the body and my quad, my glute on the left side a tiny bit more just because of that resistance. That's it, three more here, squeeze, Two, last one. With the last one, I'm gonna hold it up, twist as far as you can, and release all the way back. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a good day.